Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Strike Pro TV. We are in the Swedish archipelago and um, it's late fall, winter time, and we will try to target some big perch that have schooled up in shallow bays. Ooh, yep. So drop shot uh, is the key today, and I'm going to show you how to set up the drop shot my way. This is Magnus Diesen, a new CVC fishing team member. That's great, you're a good fisherman. The weather today is, I don't know what to say, but the perch are biting anyway, so it could be a nice one. Oh my god. Yes! I think it's a pike, but... Oh, it's a big perch, it's a really big perch. I can't even speak. Oh my god. Oh, this day, this day has been so great. This is the fourth over a kilo. Damn. Damn, that's nice. Awesome. It's a really big one. Yeah. Strong. In the winter time, fishing can be really tricky, especially for perch. Uh, you need to adapt to, to the situations of the day and find the key to get that big bite. Um, therefore, we're using multiple rods today. You don't have to have all these rods, but it's really nice to, to don't have to retie and try new rigs. So, first of all, we have the Finesse Carolina rig. It's a Carolina rig with a small ribster worm. Perfect for jigging, perfect for dragging. We have a normal spinning setup uh, with a jig head, a lead jig head with a piglet chad. Uh, any type of sp paddle tail swim bait would work fine for this app application. This is for uh, covering water and uh, finding the school of fish. At the same time, we have a jigging setup, but this is with a lighter jig head and with a bait caster. This is for shallower water, close pitches, uh, pitch casting uh, with more precision. The bait caster is perfect for that. And we have the famous drop shot rig. This is for fishing really statically. If you find a school of fish, or if you want to fish in a really, really close uh, quarter situation, uh, you want to target the fish and keep the bait suspended over the bottom at all times. Lastly, we have the classic Texas rig. And I fish this as a normal jigging technique, but when there is a lot of weed. So now we have everything covered. Okay, so we're going to start with um, uh, covering this uh, this bay um, and search for some some nice features to fish. See where the depth is. Uh, normally, you want to have bays where there's at least three or two and a half to three meters of depth. Uh, this place has uh, has got four, four and a half, maybe five meters of depth. And we're going to find that deepest spot. We're going to try to see if there's any fish there or bait fish. Um, and then we're going to circle, circle around and see if there's, uh, there's weed lines around uh, because the fish will almost uh, every time go in connection to, to the weed lines uh, because they can swim in and find some cover there. Um, so that's what we're going to do now. If you look here, I think this is a, a school of, of perch. Uh, we can zoom in here and uh, we can see what this is. This actually looks like fish suspended over the bottom uh, because you can see the shadow. So we're going to mark this like so. And uh, then we're going to circle around and, and see, check again. We have some, some perch on the right side. I think it's perch, um, 10 or so. Uh, and the last school on the outside here on the deeper water were at least uh, 20 or 30 fish. So we're going to anchor up with the talon on the shallow spot here. And we're going to cast out on the deep and uh, begin right away. So we're making a long cast down with the wind with a 15 gram jig head. Try to fish quite fast. Just let it sink to the bottom. I changed to the bait caster because um, the 15 gram was too, was too heavy. So I changed to the bait caster with the 10 gram jig head. Um, also have a lot of control in the line with the bait caster. Um, it's really windy today. So I'm gonna need that extra control. 
Oh fuck, I lost it. <laughs> As you can see, uh, we had we had a school of perch swimming by the boat. Uh, we were anchored up um, on 3.6 meters, but we had a had a school of perch swimming on the outside to the left. Um, I cast out my drop shot, uh, had one bite, and then nothing. So they're not not really want to play <laughs> today, but. Fish on! Smoked it. Totally smoked it. Feels like a perch. Well, nice one. It's a fatty. Oh, hello. <laughs> well, not, not that fat, but uh, decent fish. We've been struggling um, and we saw that uh, that school of, of perch uh, wandering by or swimming by the uh, the boat, uh, and I targeted them with the with the drop shot, uh, and finally I caught one. So let's cast it out, see if we can catch another one. Finally, not a big one, but feels good. Drop shot was the was the method. For the moment, or is the method for the method for the moment? Um, things can change rapidly, but uh, fishing really slow, making some sudden twitches, lifting the bait from uh, the bottom up to maybe half a meter from the bottom, maximum. Oh, missed one! Shit! I think he grabbed my bait. No, same school as we saw, swimming by. Just let let the bait suspend for. A couple of seconds, make a twitch. And repeat. Okay. Just behind the boat. There he is. Oh. Not a big one. <laughs> but we had some some bites in a really short matter of time so that's nice the bait I use is um, is the Lanker City finesse this is a really it's a traditional drop shot bait and the hook I use small hooks this is an owner owner mosquito hook size 2 and the small hook, it, it doesn't matter because the fish always sucks the the complete rig in or the bait. They suck it in. Um, what I do is, I'll show you later, I nose hook the bait so that the bait will have more movement. But the actual knot and the hook is, is stiff, so it won't, uh, won't turn on the line. Here's the hook, centered on the line. And no soaking the bait. Like so, really simple. And that allows the bait to twitch from side to side. I can also do like this if I want it even more static. I can put it on from underneath. And so that the tip of the hook is just facing or pointing out. That's a more of more of a stiff presentation or static presentation but I want the bait to move so I hook it that way let the bait fall or the sinker fall to the bottom twitch let it fall again tighten the line and just twitch the slack reel in twitch lift it from the bottom twitch the slack again and always make a pause Same thing again. Saw them on the on the sonar. Made a cast. <sighs> Boom. <laughs> so, as you can see on the sonar, they went past the boat just five or ten meters. So I'm gonna try to see if I can. Yep. Fish on. I mean, this this is amazing. What the technology can do. Again, I saw them swimming by, one cast, boom, fish instantly. The temperature 
and the surface is only 2.8 so I guess that's why the drop shot works the long pauses of the of the drop shot with the bait suspense perfect when the water is cold So drop shot uh, is the key today and I'm going to show you how to set up the drop shot my way. First of all I've um, already spliced on or um, tied on at least 2 meters of uh, 028 or 10 pound fluorocarbon on my main line and I've attached it with a grinner knot and this is so small that it can run through the guides without any problems and the reason why I use uh, such a long leader is that I can retie many times. If I get some pikes or I get stuck somewhere and I rip the line off, then I can retie the, the rig. Very simple. After that, I prefer the, the owner mosquito hook. This is size two. It's perfect for uh, three and four inch soft baits. And this is really critical. You thread it on the opposite way. Normally it would be facing the wrong way. But this is correct in, in this case. You thread, thread it on the wrong way and save some tag line and that's the leader, leader length between the hook and the sinker. Pinch the line, make a loop and then twist the loop around the lower part of the leader. Three times, like this. And then push the hook through, but not all the way. Leave the shank inside. Then gently pull it. Like that, moisten. Then correct the hook so it points outwards. And there you go. Perfect knot for drop shot using those small, small single hooks. The hook will stand, stand out um, and it will hook perfectly. And finally, the drop shot weight. And again, this is tungsten. It's super, super heavy for its mass. Sinks like, uh, like a brick. Um, fully, full contact with the bottom. Uh, casts like a dream. And these drop shot weights have, have this special swivel that pinches the line. So just pull it or thread it on the line like that. Then just pull the line up and you're ready to go. These are my favorite baits for, for the drop shot. You can use any style of, of um, soft bait. You can use paddle tails, worms, fork style baits, anything. But the Ribster 3 inch and the, the Finesse 4 inch are my favorite for the cold water fishing. We, uh, we went to shore to pick up uh, a friend uh, for him to try some, some of the new stuff that we've shown today. Uh, this is Magnus Diesner, new CVC fishing team member. Uh, he made a couple of casts with the, with the piglet chad and the perception rod. And uh, he got a nice one. Show it. 1,375 grams. Very nice, nice. Bird. Good job. It didn't take long. He you know the spots. <laughs> you know the spots, so yeah. that's, that's great. You're a good fisherman. Cool. Let's uh, let's get her back. Magnus just released his fish. I made one cast with the uh, with the same bait, even the same rod, uh, and hooked up immediately. Quite a nice one. Really nice colors. Let's put her back. Sun came out and um, seems like like the there's been a, a slight pressure rising. So. Um, We've been trying the piglet chad and, and the fish, uh, they want some more movement now, a, a bit more active uh, fishing. So this guy works, worked well. A couple of fish and uh, probably some more. Piglet chad, super bait. Yes, bigger bite and a bigger fish. There we go. Fish just over a kilo. 
really nice one. Could be a lot, a lot fatter, bigger belly, but uh, I'm super satisfied uh, because winter time is is hard, and this is sort of a really a good, good point. I want to show you the new rods from BFT, the new perception rods that we launched for 2016. Uh, these are super lightweight jigging rods, uh, twitching rods. Um, they, you can use them for, for any type of soft bait fishing for perch, even light sander fishing. Uh, and when you use hard baits like blades, uh, poppers, uh, twitch baits, uh, crank baits, you name it. Starting up, this is the finesse rod. This is a six and a half feet long rod with a casting weight from four to 12 grams. This is just under fast action. This is a bit more of a moderate fast because this rod is designed for fishing those really light lures. Okay, so the jig and twitch is a seven foot six inch rod, 7.6, uh, casting weight, five to 20 grams. Really stiff, really fast, perfect if you want a stiffer rod than the light jig and rod drop shot. If you do a lot of traditional jigging, uh, it can set the hooks on long lines, on windy days, on deep waters. For me, it's the perfect uh, all round rod or, or jigging rod. Next one up is the light jig and drop shot rod. This is 7.3, casting weight 5 to 15 grams. Perfect rod for drop shotting. It's a bit stiffer in the tip than normal drop shot rods, but that's what I like. They are really, really nice for, for feeling everything. Uh, also a perfect rod for uh, Texas rigging, Carolina rigging, uh, with, a, with lighter bullet weights, uh, light jigging up to maybe um, 10 gram jig heads and, and uh, four inch soft baits. Perfect rod for, for today's fishing when we use the, the drop shot rig. Okay, so the last one up is the same blank as the 7.6 jig and twitch. This is the jig and bait cast. This is the same blank, but it's made for bait casters, for, for um, casting gear. This is a perfect rod also, of course, for, for jigging, any type of jigging. I love it for Carolina rigging as well. And also, it's perfect when you want to cast those big crankbaits or even big poppers. The handles are, of these rods are, are quite short because when we're doing perch fishing, we're not, we're not throwing big baits. The, the fish are not super big uh, if you compare to pike fishing. Short, short handles are really nice because you can pitch, you can flip, you can do overhand casts. It's easy to go from jigging up like this to jigging down like that without the butt being stuck in your jacket or under your arm. Okay, so um, these are the Perception uh, rods by BFT, the Albin Shargi Signature Series. Check them out. Ooh, <sighs> could be a nice one. One more cast, fish on instantly in the drop. Not super huge, but really strong. Yes, yes, yes. Things change, they change really fast winter time. So as we said before, be prepared, have everything. Um, use multiple rods, rig up some, some different kinds of, of techniques, because uh, things can change. This color, the fire perch, quite strong. I think they react to it like an instant, instant reaction strike. So don't be afraid to, to try different colors as well, not only different types of methods and rigs. Try, try uh, really uh, fluo colors, uh, try natural ones. Don't be afraid to experiment. Ooh. If this is a perch, it's a big one. I think it's a pike, but... Oh, it's a big perch. It's a really big perch. Ooh, it's a really big one. Yeah. Strong. Yes! Look at the height. It's got a high, really high back. Oh my god, so cool. I love these, these fish. They're super strong, so cool. Oh. Smoked it. The weather today is, I don't know what to say. Uh, first it's it's windy and cloudy, then it's sunny, and then it's raining like hell. Now we have no wind, but a lot of rain. I have to put my jacket on. Ah. But the perch are biting anyway, so they don't care about the weather today. That's it's really, <laughs> you can never tell when the fish is biting. You just need to be out there as as many hours a day as possible and make make a lot of casts and 
try your best. Today is a good day. Oh, this day. This day has been so great. This is the fourth over a kilo. Biggest one for Magnus 1375. Um, this is a really, <laughs> really fatty. Fat one. Oh my god. 1.1. On the piglet chat. They're really active now. And um, when they're active, you want to fish a bit more fast. And we're doing the traditional jigging style. Uh, let it sink to the bottom, make two turns, let it sink to the bottom, make two turns, and so on. Oh my god, this is a really nice one. Oh, on a Texas rig. Oh my god. Beautiful fish. This is a heavy one. On a Texas rig, but I jigged it just as, as we did with the, with the traditional jig heads and the piglets. I can't even speak. <laughs> yes. Finally. 1,375 gram, just as big as, uh, as Magnus fish, so I'm really stoked. Nice one. Back, back you go. Back you go. Beautiful fish. Damn. Damn, that's nice. Awesome. Time to wrap up. Great day. Hard fishing in the beginning. Found some fish on the sonar, caught them on drop shots. Uh, and then when we started to, to fish in the closer, most, more closed up sections, uh, we found the big ones where the wind couldn't get to us, but much more easy to fish. Uh, so I want to thank you, Magnus, for joining us today. Really fun having you. Uh, six fish over a kilo. Super nice. Super nice. Uh, I want you to follow us on Instagram and uh, like us on Facebook, CWCAB. Um, thank you very much. Bye. and find the key to get that big bite. Um, therefore, we're using multiple rods today. You don't have to have all these rods, but it's really nice to, to don't have to retie and try new rigs. So, first of all, we have the Finesse Carolina rig. It's a Carolina rig with a small ribster worm. Perfect for jigging, perfect for dragging. We have a normal spinning setup uh, with a jig head, a lead jig head with a piglet chad. Uh, any type of sp sp paddle tail swim bait would work fine for this appli application. This is for uh, covering water and uh, finding the school of fish. At the same time, we have a jigging setup, but this is with a lighter jig head and with a bait caster. This is for shallower water, close pitches, uh, pitch casting uh, with more precision. The bait caster is perfect for that. And we have the famous drop shot rig. This is for fishing really statically. If you find the school of fish, or if you want to fish in a really, really close uh, quarter situation, uh, you want to target the fish and keep the bait suspended over the bottom at all times. Lastly, we have the classic Texas rig. And I fish this as a normal jigging technique, but when there is a lot of weed. So now we have everything covered. Okay, so we're going to start with um, uh, covering this, uh, this bay. Um, and search for some, some nice features to fish, see where the depth is. Uh, normally you want to have... I caught one, so let's cast it out, see if we can catch another one. Finally. Not a big one, but feels good. 
drop shot was the was the method for the moment or is the method for the method for the moment um, things can change rapidly but uh, fishing really slow making some sudden twitches lifting the bait from uh, the bottom up to maybe half a meter from the bottom maximum oh missed one shit I think he grabbed my bait no same school as we saw swimming by just let let the bait suspend for a couple of seconds make a twitch and repeat Ooh, yep. just behind the boat there he is oh. not a big one <laughs> but we had some some bites in a really short matter of time so that's nice the bait I use is um, is the Lanker City Finesse base where there's at least three or two and a half to three meters of depth. Uh, this place has uh, has got four, four and a half, maybe five meters of depth, and we're going to find that deepest spot. We're going to try to see if there's any fish there or bait fish, um, and then we're going to circle circle around and see if there's uh, there's weed lines around uh, because the fish will almost uh, every time go in connection to to the weed lines uh, because they can swim in and find some cover there. Um, so that's what we're going to do now. If you look here, I think this is a, a school of, of perch. Uh, we can zoom in here and uh, we can see what this is. This actually looks like fish suspended over the bottom uh, because you can see the shadows. So we're going to mark this like so and uh, then we're going to circle around and, and see. Check again. We have some, some perch on the right side. I think it's perch. Um, 10 or so uh, and the last school on the outside here on the deeper water were at least uh, 20 or 30 fish so we're going to anchor up with the talon on the shallow spot here and we're going to cast out on the deep and uh, begin right away so we're making a long cast down with the wind with a 15 gram jig head try to fish quite fast just let it sink to the bottom Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Strike Pro TV. We are in the Swedish archipelago and um, it's late fall, winter time, and we will try to target some big perch that have schooled up in shallow bays. Ooh, yep. So drop shot uh, is the key today and I'm going to show you how to set up the drop shot my way. This is Magnus Diesen, a new CVC fishing team member. That's great, you're a good fisherman. The weather today is, I don't know what to say, but the perch are biting anyway, so could be a nice one. Oh my god. Yes! I think it's a pike, but oh, it's a big perch, it's a really big perch. I can't even speak. Oh my god. Oh, this day, this day has been so great. This is the fourth over a kilo. Damn. Damn, that's nice. Awesome. It's a really big one. Yeah. Strong. In the winter time, fishing can be really tricky, especially for perch. Uh, you need to adapt to, to the situations of the day. I changed to the bait caster because um, the 15 gram was too was too heavy. So I changed to the bait caster with the 10 gram jig head. Um, also, I have a lot of control in the line with the bait caster. Um, it's really windy today, so I'm gonna need that extra control. Oh fuck, I lost it. <laughs> As you can see, uh, we, had so, we had a school of perch swimming by the boat. Uh, we were anchored up um, on 3.6 meters, but we had a, had a school of perch swimming on the outside to the left. Um, 
I cast out my drop shot, uh, had one bite, and then nothing. So they're not not really want to play <laughs> today, but. Fish on. Smoked it. Totally smoked it. Feels like a perch. Well, nice one. It's a fatty. Oh, hello. <laughs> well, not, not that fat, but uh, decent fish. We've been struggling. Um, and we saw that uh, that school of, of perch uh, wandering by or swimming by the, uh, the boat. Uh, and I targeted them with the, with the drop shot. Uh, and finally, 